Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 507. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 507. Hey, this is just a question someone asked, um, and it has to do with bad data, right? Uh, if data is set up like a database where field names are at the top and columns are fields and rows are records, then, you know, things are easy. But what is this? Right? We have uh, some ship names here, some volumes, some dates, and this person wants to summarize. Having, I guess, the ship names, right? So we have to extract a unique list of ship names and dump them here. Then we have to have a formula here that looks at two criteria, ship name and date, and adds them all. All right, we'll do a couple things. How about, how do we get the extract um, uh, unique list of names? Let's use advanced filter uh, extract unique list. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this whole range. This is just a teeny data set. If it was a bigger data set, you'd have to highlight more of it. These are only three records, right? There's probably thousands of these. All right, and then we go to data, advanced filters in the filter group right there. Boop. Okay, um, and then this right here is going to be our field name and then psh, there's a bunch of uh, blanks too which is never that good but that'll be okay here I don't want I want to copy it to another location I just want to dump it over to the side say right there criteria no no not that we want to say unique records that is our criteria and then so there we have it now we can copy these notice to put a blank at the top because a blank is considered a particular item you got to have that field name selected at the top too or you'll get a duplicate of whatever the first item is control if there's another one in the list somewhere I'm gonna copy all that and then come over here paste um, I'm going to highlight this just to give it some labels. So those are all gray. I'll do some uh, you know, similar gray or something. Now we need a formula here. Ah, but it's not going to work. We don't have matching f uh, columns. Uh, co there's, there's a column of names. We have our unique list over there, a column of numbers. But this will be a problem because we need to say um, each one of these people need to have that date there. So watch this. I'm going to highlight this whole column. And I know there's a total there, but we don't need either one of those, so that'll be irrelevant. Let's highlight this whole column, including the, you don't need that, all the way down. And then I'm going to use go to blanks, and then I'm going to build a formula once all the blanks are highlighted that says look one cell above, and it will it'll fill all these in with dates because we need this date here, 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 here. This date we need here, 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 here. It's going to do it to the total too, but who cares because we're never going to get those records, no matches. F5 for go to special. By the way. F5, notice that the extract range that we got uh, over there w was named. That happens when you do advanced filter special. And I want to say go to blanks, click OK. Now I'm going to say equal sign, up arrow. Notice it's a, a relative cell reference. So all the ones down here are going to be looking one above. By the way, this one's looking one above, but what about the one here? Oh, it's looking there, and that one's looking there. So control and enter to populate all of the cells with the highlighted cells with the formulas. Notice go to blanks highlighted just the empty cells. Now we have a range we can match this. So criteria one, criteria two, and then boom, add. Doesn't look like we're going to get any uh, duplicates but uh, in, in the same range here, but I suppose you could. Maybe if there's thousands of them, maybe there will be some. Now we got to think of some formula over here. I haven't rehearse this. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to highlight all of them and add a little green because that'll be where our formula goes. Some little green right here. Well, I think of what we're going to do. Uh, well, we there's a match there and there. Um, how about just uh, some ifs or some ifs would be in 2007 or 10 some product uh, would be how we do it in earlier versions. Um, equals, I'll do some product because that will is universal. You can use that in any version. So double negative because we're going to have some trues and falses from our criteria, right? And we have to convert the trues and falses to ones and zeros. So first we'll say this one. Now this one needs to be locked going down but not to the side. So I'm going to hit F4, F4. Whenever that's equal to what? Now we have to do our sheet reference and come over here for the date column. 
Notice we're not the fact that there's totals there doesn't matter. It would matter if we were doing a pivot table, but uh, and then I'm going to hit F4. That needs to be locked in all directions. I'm going to close parentheses, Control Enter, just to get this over here. So apparently there's five um, matches. But what does some product do? We have uh, right now we could see this would be true one 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 one, right? So F9 and a bunch of zeros for falses. So that means there's no matches. Control Z. Let's see if I can get this shown up here. Okay, now that's the first array. We need our next one, comma. And we need our next criteria, which is going to be the person's name over here. I'm going to escape. I'm going to get rid of the center. Looks like center. How about just um, this one right here? So that way it'll go that way instead of crowding me out here. Okay, now that's array number one. So comma, double negative, open parentheses. And I do my next criteria. And this one needs to be locked going to the side, but not down. So I hit F4, F4, F4 three times. Whenever that's equal to, and we go get our column over here with the names. The blanks, I don't think the blanks are going to mess us up because there's no match. It'll just say 0. And then F4. And then close parentheses. Up here it's kind of emerging. And then Control Enter just so we come back over here and see. Now we have some trues and falses some trues and falses. Looks like there's only one. And then finally, a comma, just our array of uh, values right here. Looks like there's only going to be uh, one value for each, but I don't know because this is just a small data set, so that's why I'm building it this way just in case there was a duplicate. All right, I have to hit that one locked also. Uh, and then close parentheses and control enter. Now, I'm going to say no. That means I made a mistake. I'm going to say no. OK, always, because now i got to check and see what I did. Oh, yeah, I didn't need the closed parentheses because that was uh, just a range. So Control-Enter. Now I can copy this down. And then I'm going to copy it over all the way over here. Now, how do you want to format all those zeros? You could format them however you want. Control-1. You could do accounting. Or Control-1. You could do currency. Or whatever other type of formatting. You could even do a custom number formatting to uh, show a blank. Control-1. Custom number format. I'm just going to put uh, dollar sign. 0, 0.00, that's for positive numbers, and then semicolon, how about uh, for uh, a double quote, double quote, that'll show a blank, or actually just like that, another semicolon. So that's how the positive numbers will be formatted, and then nothing will format, so it'll show a blank, and then click OK. However you want to do that. Now, one last thing, I want to show you this formula right here. The way some product works is, how many arrays are there? There's one two, three. All three are the same dimension, however tall this range is. Uh, and they're multiplied. Let's just go ahead and take a look here. There's going to be some trues and falses based on this criteria in this range. Some trues and falses in this range based on that criteria there. And then finally multiply that times the uh, a column of the sales numbers. Well, let's just highlight this and hit the F9 key. You could see it got the trues and falses and then the double negative converted them to ones and zeros. So that whole array will be multiplied by this next array. And this time I'll highlight the inside and show you the trues and falses F9. And then the uh, double negative uh, F9. By the way, this is a dangerous F9 in lots of part of your formulas. If you hit enter right now, it would be hard coded in. Escape will get us out of it in just a moment. But now we have an array of ones and zeros multiplied by that same array of ones and zeros. You can see down here there's that other, that person's name uh, right here, or the shipping name right there. But the date, because the the uh, associated zero number that will be multiplied that is one of these zeros, so that one won't be counted. The only one that will be counted is this whole range times that. The only one is true is 1 times 1. And what do we get over here? Yeah. 1 times 1 in the first position. I'm going to hit F9 times the 1,000. And that's why we get this 1,000. And so some product takes arrays, multiplies them, and then if there's more than one, it will add them. Now watch this. I'm going to highlight. 
the whole sum product and hit F9. Thousand. I'm going to click Escape. Another way to look at that is if we come over here, <clears throat> what did it do? It took uh, this whole range here times uh, a true or false. It got a true there. And it got a true in the parallel range over here. So that's why it selected that. All right. Um, uh, that's how to take bad data. Uh, we had to do advanced filter to extract out the unique records. Uh, then we had to do a little tr trickery to uh, F5, go to blanks, and then build a little formula to create all of the dates that were missing. Once we had that, then we build our sum product formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.